So tell us about your album that's coming out. Uh, so my album coming out is yet to be titled. Um, it's gonna be a selection of like dubstep and hip hop. Might be one two jungle tunes in there, but at the moment the most of the tracks I'm produced that might feature on the album is uh, it's a mixture between dubstep and hip hop. It's kind of some of the songs are dark, some of them are like chillful, like chilled out and soulful. Um, come from jazz percussion, my music's always been very chilled out and mellow in terms of my my preference towards chords, melody, and grooves. Um, and yeah, it's just a mixture of everything. Hmm. It's very bass heavy. Very bass heavy. Yeah, and, and I wanna. It's got a lot of live percussion on it as well. Kind of like I wanted, I wanted to blend um, my influence between Indian classical spiritualism and jazz classical groove. Okay. And my perception of electronic music as well. So. Um, yeah. Cool. So, you have no date for this at the moment? No. No date for this, but you just have, like, how many tracks have you roughly done at the moment? Roughly produced about four songs. Four songs, yeah. And I've got, like, you know, another four songs that I need to be cl- completed. I want it to be an eight-track album, ideally, maximum. Yeah. Um, I don't want any more than eight. I should have a, for my debut album. I want to make sure that um, people are listening to it. Um, it doesn't take too much of their attention span. They can just go through it, enjoy it, get a flavour of what I represent. And it can be played out on radio, it can be played out at nightclubs, enjoy it on your phone. This is just a really good album. Okay, cool. So, now that your album's coming out, are you going to do it through a label release or are you going to do it independent? I'm going to do it independent through the Mystery Mix. It's going to be the debut release on um, the Mystery Mix. Uh, what I'm going to do is take the lead singles from the album, commission a remix package around other producers that I know within their very st- genre styles and use that to push all of our profiles forward. You know, we're going to have a label launch now, ideally. Um, we've got a resident sound system, you know. Um, I know a few people, one of my friends runs his own called Horus Loudspeakers. Um, and just generally use it as a stepping stone um, to push forward. Um, the collective behind the label, there's a lot of people behind the label, including yourself, it's like a media collective. Yeah. Um, and use a label as a vehicle to push forward the music that we represent. So once the label launch that happens, we can get in touch with all the blogs and the radio station, the media platforms, and to push forward a new movement that's creative and has integrity. Okay. So as a creative person, not only do you do music, you're you're the engineer, mix engineer, <laughs> master engineer, producer, and a musician. Yeah. Just, just throw some thoughts out there, man. Just about sounds, man. About the new generation coming up. Just like, just, just speak to them. Just tell them what. Oh, cool. Just, just, just do. Just give them some advice. Yeah. Yeah. Like, do, do what, do what you feel is right. Um, understand the methods. Um. Like some of the old school methods of working, because a lot of the stuff that's happened nowadays, like innovation and that, it's been in place to to tackle a certain problem. Mm. So research the problems that were there, that have now been solved. Understand like kind of, you know, certain analog ways of working. So when you're working the track in digital, it can still sound fat. But when you're working on the on the track in a computer, it can be really really accurate. But if you have a an old school way. Kind of, if you understand tape machines and certain things like that, then you can saturate and warm things up a certain way. Or you can mix it a certain way where things can snap and nothing will ever distort. You know, like gain structure, stuff like that. Also, don't listen to music that you produce. If you produce hip-hop, don't listen to hip-hop. Listen to bossa nova, listen to soul, listen to jazz. You might like grime, cool, enjoy the music you enjoy. But listen to, listen to music, watch films, do things like outside what you produce yourself. That way you get totally new ideas to um, everyone else in the same scene as you and you do stand out and do what's true to you, you know. And um, expose yourself to loads and loads of unideal situations, loads of difficult situations creatively and just push your skill forward, you know. And earn convenience as well. Don't get it easy to set up straight away. Work with what you have. Anything can achieve professional world, even if I've got a bridge of set up. That's all I can afford for now. If I know the microphone sounds a certain kind of way, it's a bit too harsh, then I can kind of DS it inside the box. Or I can do certain things to make my equipment sound good. And then when I save up and get the professional equipment, it sounds good already. So I don't need to do all of that because I know how to do it. I 
can do it properly if I need to. So yeah.